What is up folks, how's it going? This is Watch from MW Technology, and today we're going to bring you guys another review of a brand new BenQ projector, the TK 860i. Now back in the middle of 2020, we actually reviewed the original BenQ TK 850i, super impressed by the overall value and image quality that that native 4K resolution projector brought to the table. But now with this successor, with slight improvements and modifications, the TK 860i could finally be that living room, large scale home theater experience they've always dreamed of to replace your TV living room setup. And if you're going to replace your your TV, that means the projector has to be bright enough to be used during the daytime, as well as easy to set up as a TV, ideally completely wireless. Now, based on my experience thus far, I would definitely say that the TK860i is certainly an improvement from the previous generation 850i and is closer to finally being that true TV replacement experience that we have all dreamed of, but with some slight shortcomings which we'll talk about. Firstly, in terms of directly comparing the improvements on the 860i compared to the 850i, it is definitely a lot brighter, has a total luminosity range of 3300 versus 3000 on the previous generation projector. It also has a higher dynamic contrast ratio of 50,000 to 1 versus 30,000 to 1. And uh, overall, the technology and the uh, lamp life is the exact same as the previous generation. So in normal mode, you'll get up to 4,000 hours on the lamp in eco mode about 10,000 hours and in smart eco about 15,000 hours of lamp life. Furthermore, there is also a new feature on the TK860i called localized contrast enhancer, which basically maps up and divides the image into several different segments, thousands to be exact, and analyzes each portion of the image to enhance the best amount of shadow and highlight detail, resulting in a brighter, more dynamic looking image. Now, in terms of the native resolution and overall refresh rate, that hasn't really much changed from the previous generation. Still looking at 3840 by 2160 in terms of native resolution with a maximum refresh rate at 60 hertz at 4K. Now, if you bump down the resolution on the newer model, you will get 240 hertz refresh rate compared to 60 at 1080p, which is a massive improvement, in addition to the big improvement, which is input lag. The previous TK850i had a horrendous input lag of 83 milliseconds, both in 1080p and in 4K, making gaming pretty much impossible. But now with the newer 860i at 1080p, 240 hertz, you get a much more reasonable input lag time of 8.7 milliseconds and 17.9 milliseconds at 4K resolution. Now, externally, things haven't changed too much from the overall look. Some slight color changes at the uh, front face of the projector, but at the back, you will notice that we have three HDMI connections instead of two, and inside, we do have that dedicated space for the Android TV dongle that BenQ supplies, but the dongle itself has been upgraded, named the S. SQ02. Basically functions exactly the same as the previous generation, but now you have native Netflix support. Before, you pretty much had to download it through the Apps Manager, and it was a little bit of a headache to get onto the dongle. But now with this new dongle, you have it built in and access to all the apps you would ever need and all the streaming platforms you would ever need. And since it's uh, completely wireless and integrated inside the projector, it's a completely wireless solution. All you really need to do for your setup is supply power to the projector and you're ready to go. Now, in terms of the remote controls, compared to the previous generation which came with two controllers, one was a fully backlit uh, remote control specifically for the projector. It didn't have any of the smart TV dongle integration, so you did have to use the Android TV dongle separately to control that interface, which is primarily your main controller, and that didn't have a backlight, which was fairly annoying. Uh, but now with the newer generation 860i, you do have basically one controller that can supply to you that can control your projector and uh, the uh, Android TV dongle and it has a backlight. You do have a separate uh, remote control that comes with the dongle but you really don't need to use it since everything can be integrated with that one remote coming with the new projector. The only downside is that the backlight times out quite fast maybe about two or three seconds uh, and unfortunately I don't really know how to increase the uh, length of the backlight time but it is nice to have one that did not want to have one regardless. 
Now moving forward, you still have a built-in speaker system on the TK860i like the previous generation. It's still a 5 watt times 2 stereo setup, but it does have now Adobe Atmos certification as well as multi-channel support compared to two-channel support on the previous generation. But the sound quality is very similar on both projectors based on what I've heard so far. And you probably want to have some sort of sound bar or small surround sound system if you want to have the best audio quality experience. If you're looking for a great all-in-one solution that has a great image as well as great built-in audio definitely check out the gp500 from benq we did a full dedicated review video on that very recently as well check out the description for that video now moreover we did primarily our testing in a controlled environment we have a dedicated theater space but this projector is really designed for really any situation you're going to throw at it whether that's in a brightly lit living room experience or in a controlled environment like this. Ideally, if you want the best image quality, every projector is always gonna benefit from having controlled lighting. That's just the nature of the game when you come to front projection setups. Now, can you use this in a bright environment? I would say uh, yes, definitely. Uh, you still want some control. You don't want the sun completely going on your projection surface. And uh, again, if you want the best image quality, I would also recommend some sort of dedicated projector screen or at least a wall that's uh, fairly neutral in terms of its texture and uh, overall luminosity, ideally white, if you want the best image quality. Now, again, you can definitely use this in a living room environment, but if you're looking for something that's gonna rival your TV experience in terms of brightness and that versatility factor of you could just leave it on all day and not have it to worry about it. You do have a lamp in here that uh, uh, has a limited lifespan. Projectors are still a trade-off at this point, but we are becoming more and more closer to rivaling uh, the brightness and overall versatility of a TV setup. But we're just not quite there yet. I think as a dedicated home theater solution, in a, a controlled environment, you are still going to have probably the better experience with that larger display. And since we have all the benefits of the smart TV, you're not really losing anything from a versatility and setup standpoint on this new TK860i. Now, besides those initial impressions, we're going to continue testing this thing. I'm working on a smaller uh, screen to fit into our living room right now. So we'll continue our testing process with this TK860i to see how it handles uh, different environments. But for now, I'm really enjoying testing these projectors. Definitely love to know what you guys think about replacing a projector compared to your TV. Do you think you're there yet and would a larger screen be a compelling option? to make that switch. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Big thanks to BenQ for supporting the channel and giving us the opportunity to test out these amazing products. And if you haven't done so already, check out the description for more details about everything we've talked about. Please make sure you're subscribed and have post notifications turned on. Big thanks for your support for watching. We'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.